Welcome along to the latest special edition car. We're gonna, well, they say you can win it, but as we all know, you can't win these things with, you know, no upgrades and whatever. It, it just doesn't happen. So, and this is gonna be a real expensive car. I'm um, really late with this one because I've spent the first day. I rep, to be honest, I've no time to get on here. But all I've done is I've just been upgrading it, watching adverts, waiting for the upgrades to come in and stuff. So that's what I've done. You know, just going on the game now and again just to um, when the upgrades are ready. So I've spent so far about probably half a million racing dollars or maybe even a million racing dollars. Not that I really keep track of it anymore. And I've also spent about 500 gold roughly. Uh, I've also customised it just with the basics. I've not, um, I've not spent anything on, you know, shapes or curves letters alphabet nothing uh, there's five goals today oh, i think all i'm going to do is uh, just have a look at the car and then probably do the first three goals because that's all there are on the first date anyway there's only three goals uh, i'll show the car in a sec all we've got here is a head-to-head -head. and that's brands act by look at that picture so i presume it can be brands Well, you can see the upgrades I've got on is 23 or 27, which leaves four, which are the real higher end gold ones. Uh, it's already, as I say, it's already cost me probably about 500 gold, I think, uh, going through this with the rest. And the rest are, obviously that's a lot. Uh, so they're about 100 roughly plus a big engine one which is quite typical of how they go uh, I will obviously fully upgrade this uh, once I get a bit more gold in but I have to do that to keep the 100% up now so I'm a bit probably different from where some of you some of you are on your game uh, just obviously done that just in basics no shapes or anything, just a. I just thought I'd go for an orange for a change. I always tend to go for red, black, uh, blues, so I thought this one I'll just do orange and grey. Well, that side stripe a bit looks a bit. That looks a bit black, doesn't it? Well, so these greys here is what I've been going with. Maybe they just look black or no, they're all black, I thought they were. I was going to change them to black. I just thought they looked a bit dark than what I expected them. So as you can see, all that easy circles and squares really. A couple of triangles chucked in. Uh, but you can do a fair old thing with just, just the basics. You can do you know something half reasonable anyway. Right, let's have a little look at the car. I might... uh, I was going to look at the car, and I why have I started this race? Where's the views? Sounds nice. I watched a video of this on YouTube last night or the night before. That's like obviously like the real car and it has got a lovely engine note to it. If I had my headphones in, I would probably get a lot more benefit. I probably will do that maybe tomorrow, put headphones in. Well, I was going to say, I'm going to quickly run through the three. It feels quite a nice car, actually. I must admit, already that feels nice. But it has got a lot of upgrades on it, so it might well be one of those cars that is not very good when you um, first get it and they get better once you get some upgrades on it. It might be like that, I don't really know. Not obviously, not had a chance to drive it without, you know, putting the upgrade, wait for the upgrades to come in and that stuff.
My son's got an account actually, but he's only a level 11. So I might help him out and get him to level 25. And then I'll go, I'll you know, use his account and see if I can win one of the next cars coming up with no upgrades whatsoever. Just for the hell of it, rather than doing what I'm doing here. That might not be a bad idea actually.